This video is sponsored by well, nobody. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up an FPV remote controller like this one, this the GI FPV remote controller 2. Or it doesn't even matter which ones, it is a universal thing to set up in kind of all FPV simulators. I'm going to cover mainly three, four maximum FPV simulators where I'm going to do with you to show you how to calibrate. But the same process can up be applied on all FPV simulators on how to calibrate and make this FPV remote controller work. Now, before we even start, I need to mention these FPV remote controllers cannot be connected via Bluetooth to the computer, wherever you have a Windows PC or a Mac. And they cannot be kindly used to with an iPad or a, a tablet or on a phone. So it has to be a computer or it has to be a Mac. But leaving that aside, if you are on a Mac and you have DJI FPV remote controller 2, I'm not sure, 100% sure about the third version, but definitely with the two, you cannot connect it USB-C to USB-C, like a dual USB-C cable, one that goes into the controller and one that goes into your MacBook laptop. It has to be via a dangle, which means USB-C to USB-A, the dangle from A to C, and that you can connect in the laptop and that works fine. All right, anyway. I do have a video about that that covers if you want to check there but let's carry on now I have disconnected from USB-C as you can see yeah USB-C as you can see to USB-A on the computer and that works just fine this is a Windows computer I'm doing this tutorial okay let's get it going so right now the first one we are going to do is lift up Okay, we are going to calibrate the JFPB remote control to in lift off FPV simulator. To be able to do that, you will have to enter the lift off of course and go to option and then go controls and controller. What you see on the screen, and I was expected for that, it says that the controller is not recognized because it's not turned on. So I'm going to turn this on, leave it a second. Usually it is better to actually connect the FPV remote controller just before you get into the game okay into the simulator so then i'm going to calibrate and start calibration and by doing this it will recognize automatically all the access and now we need to center all the sticks and follow exactly what it tells you on the screen we push the throttle to the maximum which this is the throttle we center we push the pitch we center okay we push the roll to the maximum we center and we push the yaw to the maximum and then we center okay now we press save and the fpv remote controller the dji one or the any kind of fpv remote controller that you are going to use with your fpv simulators see it's fully calibrated this thing you have to do it only once per the remote controller so the first time you enter into the game, sometimes you can do it based on the tutorials, the setup of the simulator, or you can skip those and do straight from the settings. You do it only once, and then unless you reinstall the game, the simulator, you don't have to do it again. But what do we need to do? Just to set the access, which is the throttle, your pitch, and roll, the maximum value, the center value, and the lowest value. By doing that, the simulator knows exactly how this controller works. We are going to enter a bit of the game. We test it now, okay? And we can see it's well calibrated, no issues. All right. Yep, that works well. And that's perfect. The DJI FPV Remote Controller 2 was calibrated successfully in Liftoff Simulator. Let's carry on with some other simulators. Okay, so this is Uncrushed FPV Drone Simulator and it's this one of the most known FPV simulators out there alongside Trip FPV and Liftoff. It is actually also one of the best simulators and I totally recommend for any beginners. I've been even sponsored by them, but I still always recommend it because it is that good. So after you start the simulator, you're gonna be met by this menu. Of course, 
I'm expecting you already start the FPV remote controller. Whatever it is, whatever is this DJI or any other controller, they're all the same universal settings, mostly. Let's um, go to option. And what I've done just before this, I literally unassigned everything just to make sure I'm starting from scratch. So now let's try to identify exactly here on control, we have the unknown HID interface, which is recognize this controller. Now let's try it. As you see, it's not working now. Let's try to identify the throttle, which is this axis. It's been successfully identified. Now the roll, which is this axis, identified. Okay, we go for the pitch. All good. And let's go for the yo as well. All good. Now it's all good. All the access been successfully identified but as you can see from the image and following this small video on the screen i'm pushing this to the max but it's not going to the max for that reason we also need stick calibration remember this is on mode 2 okay so we just rotate this as been we've been shown on the screen for a couple of seconds and then we center yeah that looks pretty much centered um, press OK. Now this is working properly and is properly calibrated. It's as simple as this. To test it, okay, we are going to go back. We are going to on single player mode and we will try one map. Should be all good. And it is. Yeah, as you can see, I can fly without any kind of issues because the controller seems to be calibrated just fine. Oh, oh, I got it through. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the next FPV simulator and we will try to do trip FPV. Okay, this is Trip FPV and I reinstalled it recently. So the first time you enter the simulator, you are going to be met by this menu. You can skip this, it's not an issue, and do it from the settings. But we are going to select the HID interface, which is the DJI FPV Remote Controller 2, and click on Radio Controller. And now it tells you to move the axis like on the video. We will also do that manually okay now we follow the same process like on other FPV simulators and we calibrated okay it's not recognized it's not recognized for some reason it's not recognized but that's not going to be an issue because we are going to do this from the main menu one of the reasons why I haven't practiced much in Trip FPV and I always ignored it is that it has quite a few bugs, but it is one of the most complex FPV simulators that it can exist. Now we go to controls and we have this model. Now it looks like it's recognized here, but the throttle is inverted. So this reason we're gonna click invert axis. Now the yo is fine. The pitch is also inverted. It's inverted and the roll is fine. Okay. We don't need to do anything else anymore. But if you skipped that menu, you are just going to press calibrate here and you are kindly going to calibrate in this menu. So basically controls and just here, press calibrate or bind access if they are not recognized automatically. Let's go back and let's test it. Let's go. And let's go here a little bit and it looks like it's recognized just fine properly calibrated and it does look like there's been some recent updates because the drones are flying a little bit different and they are more realistic than before so i may follow up with some um, new content around trip fpv soon i hope soon It looks just fine. 
the controller is properly calibrated oh and i crashed anyway let's do one more i want to do the fpv skydive because that's a free fpv simulator and if you don't want to invest in any of these ones that's the one to choose from okay so this is fpv skydive and the reason i decided to do this simulator as well to try to calibrate to show you how to calibrate an fpv remote controller is because this fpv simulator is free it doesn't cost any money to get you can find it on steam and it is the best free fpv simulator out there the free version so if you don't want to get into fpv and maybe you have a cheap remote controller but you don't want to get invested into other fpv simulators this is fine to start with so basically what we're gonna do uh, just gonna press this icon settings and we are going to controls okay throttle stick mode has to be selected to fpv radio and controller calibration we are going to configure okay fpv radio and we are going to click to assign throttle yo pitch and roll I'm not gonna assign the R mode or flight mode, it's all fine. And there's nothing to press save, so we are going to back, go back on screen, on home mode, and we are going to freestyle random map. Oh uh, yeah, it is in angle mode, that's fine. You can put it in acro mode, but I can clearly see that the FPV remote controller is being properly calibrated as well. So it is as simple as that now while i'm flying this a little bit in angle mode i'm going to say that kind of all fpv simulators they are following the same process to calibrate a remote controller this applies only to the fpv remote controllers but you can also use a gamepad a joystick like a ps5 controller or maybe an xbox controller but you will need to tick a setting not all fpv simulators they have this setting gamepad mode which literally sticks the throttle the halfway this one to remain at zero as you can see the throttle it doesn't recenter itself for that reason this is how fpv works and basically all fpv simulators following the same process of calibration with all fpv remote controllers more or less all you need to do is literally locate where the calibration menu or settings they are located in that FPV simulator and you follow the same process most of them they should have it on screen tell you what you need to bind what acts to bind and how to calibrate them further on anyway this is it if you have any questions please free to ask below and i'll try to reply to everyone asking any kind of questions if you need help with any other simulators that may be confusing to cal calibrate the remote controller i'll be very happy to do a video about that but anyway thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so my name is gabriel and i'm creating content around fpv simulators to help new fpv file pilots get into this hobby and as well experienced ones maybe find new things as well anyway thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time